good evening students today we will try to understand what are the design considerations that we have to look into when we basically design a cloud application so basically looking into the characteristics of cloud computing uh, we basically understand the importance of these parameters uh, like scalability availability the performance of your cloud application uh, the security uh, concern. So all these are the basic design considerations that we will look in as we design a cloud application. So moving on, uh, in order to make sure that your cloud application is scalable, okay, so we need to concentrate more in developing applications where uh, we have loosely coupled components. Uh, loosely coupled components meaning to say that you can basically redesign or if you want to scale the components independently, that becomes possible when we have loosely coupled components in your application. And the second important thing is stateless design. So when I say stateless design, again here, uh, this basically when uh, we design an application, the component state has to be stored separately so that it becomes easier for you to incorporate the changes that comes into the application. Uh, the reason is normally when we go for designing a cloud or when we go for a cloud application, we do not provide every uh, component in the beginning. We go in an incremental manner looking into the requirements of the client as well as uh, looking into the auditing activity and locking activity that has taken place in order to enhance the performance of the cloud application. So basically we need to go for a stateless design where the components states are being stored in a separate database. And the third important thing that you need to look into is your is the as asynchronous communication. When I say asynchronous communication, basically we are targeting uh, not uh, like your traditional approach where you had the request response being provided immediately. Uh, so we go for a kind of uh, asynchronous communication so that uh, you can basically submit your request and then we can go in to provide additional servers so that uh, it is able to serve the request. And third, uh, another important thing that we need to keep in mind is choosing the database. Is it really required to go for an uh, SQL approach or a traditional relational database, or can we go in for a schema-less database? So this again becomes a question or we need to consider when we uh, design the cloud application. So these parameters are basically important to make sure that your application is scalable, which is an important property of cloud computing. And moving on to the next important uh, property of cloud computing is reliability and availability. So when I say reliability, it is a probability that your system can perform the intended functions, what it is supposed to do under stated conditions for the prescribed period of time. So is it able to do that? That is what we need to look into, reliability. And when we say availability, basically, is a system uh, or is the application capable of performing the specified uh, function under the given conditions at a prescribed time. So is it uh, doing what it has to do and is it available for you as uh, you have subscribed for it? So that is what we look with availability and reliability feature. Now, in order to uh, target these two features, your cloud application basically should not be supporting uh, a single point of failure. Okay, when I say this, you should have uh, multiple um, servers, let it be database, database or web or application server so that even if there is a failure of one server, you are still able to continue your um, application uh, or the performance of the application still goes on, right? And another important thing is have the triggering of uh, automated actions in failures. So, uh, the traditional application basically what happens is uh, it fails because uh, whenever an abnormal uh, error occurs right so here your cloud comp 
computing applications or cloud applications should be able to um, what to say trigger actions depending on the error conditions you should have automated uh, triggering to happen with the error conditions and move on for example uh, you have a huge number of requests coming to the servers right and your server is not able to take up the load because of the heavy cpu usage so na naturally you should be able to uh, start up with another server in order to handle the request so such kind of triggering should happen with your cloud applications and another important thing is you have to look in for a graceful degradation meaning to say your app cloud application should not stop all of a sudden with all its uh, components being shut so what uh, graceful degradation means to say here is even though if certain part of your application is not available it can still continue with whatever uh, components are able to uh, independently carry out the task so that is what we mean to say by graceful degradation and it is very important to keep track of all the events and activities that happens in the application so that you can understand what are the changes that you need to do in order to improve your cloud application so this is an also another design consideration that we need to look into in order to make sure that your applications are reliable and as well as available right so moving on uh, the another important concept that or the thing that we need to look into is replication so when i say replication basically cloud uh, replicates why it replicates because in the event of failure when when your primary uh, server or primary uh, database storage fails you are able to continue your task by using the uh, secondary server so that is what we uh, mean to have multiple copies uh, of the data or the components basically with the cloud application and third important con uh, design consideration that we need to look into is security and from the point of security there are multiple challenges okay uh, it's not only just the authentication and authorization wherein just to identity uh, check the identity and then give the access privileges not only that apart from that we need to also secure the data which is at rest okay when the stored data or uh, even when the data is in motion when it moves from maybe from the client to the data center back to the client so even during uh, the, when the data is in motion also you need to uh, make sure that it is being uh, secure so for this we can uh, go in for all your symmetric and asymmetric encryption that we had discussed previously so all that uh, can go into or https can go into your securing of data at rest and motion and uh, another important thing is when i was talking of authorization authentication i talked of two key terms identity as well as giving privileges so iam is another important area uh, to be touched upon when you look into for a cloud uh, application and uh, key management is something very important because uh, the entire life cycle of uh, the key uh starting from creating it or using it archiving it okay uh, so all that uh again is another important concern with the security of cloud application and data integrity is something that we need to worry about because whatever is the data because the data from the client goes to the cloud provider and we should make sure that the data is basically going to remain uh what you have submitted that is what we talk of data integrity and auditing is naturally to keep track of what went on and when something goes wrong this helps us to uh, make the changes required for the cloud application so log create uh, logging the activities and this auditing basically plays a key role in uh, maintenance or in checking out what better or how better you can actually do the uh, cloud applications and maintenance and upgradation this is something uh, different uh, because here when we launch any cloud application it is not uh, given in full okay you incrementally keep adding new features to it uh, so this uh, basically uh, requires some kind of upgradation that keeps on happening as well as maintenance is also required because uh, and this can be easily done if you have already designed your application very loosely coupled a uh, manner and with asynchronous in, uh, communication because it becomes easy for you to independently uh, test or upgrade your components so this is also another concern and lastly very important 
thing as performance. Is it uh, able to satisfy the requirement of why the application was being designed? Okay, normally we look for a response time, the throughput. Okay, so all these are the parameters that we look into for a uh, good application. So here, if the response time is going to be less than four seconds, generally treated as acceptable, but we also have applications wherein they look for stringent uh, or they have very stringent requirements of this response time. So performance is also another concern for a cloud application developer. So as all of you start developing your cloud applications, uh, it is also important to see if the applications are basically scalable, are they reliable, the applications that you develop, um, can they, uh, what to say, can they satisfy, are they providing the required, satisfying the provide requirements of performance, of response time and throughput that is required. Is it secure? Uh, is it possible for you to later upgrade? And how about maintenance? All these are basic, the design considerations of a cloud application. Uh, thank you, hope this video was useful for you to understand uh, or which will help you to analyze these areas as you develop new cloud applications. Thank you.